Okay, so when we begin, could you keep your head upright and not try not to move in your chair too much because of the microphone? Yep. Um, okay, great. Uh, quiet in the studio, please. Thank you, and action. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mr. Spencer. <laughs> oh, it's really no worries at all. I mean, I know it is an honour having me here. <laughs> yeah. Now, I know we're here to talk about your brand new book, but can I just ask, how do you find the time to do all the things you're doing? I mean, your fans are struggling to keep up. Yeah, I mean, I guess we've been so busy recently expanding the new company into Asia. It's mind-blowing. And I've been working on my first feature film. Yeah, that's right, and I'm announcing it right here on your show. Yeah, I told you it was an honour. <laughs> my new feature film, Rubble to Riches, will be out next May, starring me, Derek Spencer. <laughs> so, can you tell us about your new book? What made you want to write it? Yeah, well, I, I'd say the thing that inspired me to write this book is probably me. <laughs> you know? I mean, seriously, I want to be a beacon. I want others to learn to be maybe, maybe, a bit like the next Derek Spencer. Genuinely, I mean, how crazy is that idea? So the book is written almost like a calendar. You know, I, I did it that the, go that the reader, sorry, busy day. <laughs> <laughs> I did it so that the reader will be able to go along day by day following my own life path and understand the process to becoming the perfect person. I'm giving people the key to perfection. I'm giving you all the secret to success and to become like me for the small price of $500. It's an amazing deal. Okay, I don't know what all the fuss is about. It's... Do you have $500 on you? Uh, not on me right now, but, no. But do you in the bank? Uh, yes, I and do. And would you like to turn that 500 into 5 million? Wouldn't we all? Exactly. And all you have to do is spend that. That's all it takes to becoming more happy than you could possibly imagine. I was wondering if you had, had any words on the recent rumours of your involvement with the Mafia that they're apparently laundering money for you. I was wondering if you could put these rumours to rest today. It's not... It's not part of the script. <laughs> I know, but... Sam? Samuel! If, what's if going on? Hey, hey, wait just... a minute, wait a minute. Samuel, what is going on? I'm not doing this. Listen, we Cut can... the cameras. Cut them. Day 76. Today is a big day. Time to meet a woman to help me achieve my long-term goals. Remember, wear a button shirt, either blue or gray, with a pair of navy blue jeans. Smart casual is the best for any first date. It won't be easy to find someone straight away, but as long as I keep looking, I will eventually find the one I'm looking for. Hey, sorry, I've been looking for the bar for the past 10 minutes. It's right where you've been standing for the past 20 minutes. Ah, oh, so you've been watching? Well, I've been waiting to get a drink, but you were in the way. So let's get one now. I'm Lily. Tim Marshall. Mm -hmm. So, why are you here, Lily? Not the kind of questions other guys ask. Well, I'm not other guys. So, why are you here? Um, I'm here to have fun. <laughs> fun? <laughs> In this dump? <laughs> yeah, well, this dump is my home away from home. I grew up around here. We always get surprised when you think about how things have changed, but this place will always be here, as far as I'm concerned. Well, we all have a home away from home, whether that's a physical or mental place, or an object. Yeah. So, what is it you do for a living, Tim Marshall? I, I'm gonna need a few more drinks in my system before I tell you that. What, are you broke? Far from, I'm afraid. Well, I've got this round regardless. Can we get two drinks, please? 
You're an interesting man, Tim. Can I say that? <laughs> that's that's what most say. Can you tell me anything interesting? That's gonna cost you another date. <laughs> I didn't know this was a date. Do you want it to be? Depends. On what? On where we go for the next one. Antonio's 7.45 Friday? You're not messing around. It's a date then. Day 80, job day. Remember, I'm going into that interview like I've been working here for years. I wear a brown suit with a white shirt. It makes me look smart, but helps me to stand out from the rest of these black suit clones they have at every damn corner. They'll be looking at each other asking, who is that? But remember, I am better than them, and I deserve this job. Well, Mr. Murdoch, I think that's all we need to talk about. Well done. We'll be letting you know when we've made our decision. May I ask, Mr. Murdoch, do you not plan on hiring me? <laughs> well, no, but... Well, then hire me now. Well, you see, um, these things take time, therefore we have to make sure... Was my CV not the best you have ever seen? Yes. Yes. Prob did my interview not impress you? Yes, it did. Well then, hire me now. Mr. Murdoch, if you hire me now, I will work harder than anyone in this place has ever worked in their life. I will make it my mission to be the best, at hardest working person in this building at all times. I am arguably overqualified for this position and possess all the skills required to be the best at what I do. <laughs> it would be a shame to let such a talent go. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Welcome to the company, Tim. Thank you, Liam. Uh, don't call me that. Hey, how are you? I was beginning to think you weren't coming. Yeah, sorry, I just, I got caught up in some work. What happened to your shirt? Oh, I spilled some ketchup on it. Well, whatever it is your job does, it seems to be treating you well. Yeah, you can, you can say that. You know, money has no... Day 83, date night. Now that I have my promotion, it's time for the first date. Remember to look very smart. A white shirt with a striped tie to go with it, jeans of choice. Stay in control as much as possible. Keep eye contact for as long as possible. And don't leave until I have a new partner. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, Lily, will you be my girlfriend? You haven't even ordered your drink and you're asking me that. What's going on, Tim? Uh, I just I just need to know, okay? Will will you or will you not? If I say yes, will you stop being weird? Yes. Okay. Then yeah, I will be your girlfriend. What? I wish to be promoted. Yes. I I heard you, but it's not gonna happen. Why? Because you've only been working here for three days. Yes, but have I, have I not worked harder than anyone else? Everyone works better in the first week to try and impress their boss. I've seen it a million times. You're nothing new. Yes, but sir, if, if you promote me, then... Don't you dare try that on me again! You were lucky the first time, Mr. Marshall. Look, if you continue this work for the, say, the next six months, then maybe I will consider it. But, but sir... End of discussion! Do you understand? Thank you for your time, Liam.
day 83, promotion. After working hard for three days, your boss will be impressed. And that is the perfect time to strike. Politely ask him for the promotion. And remember, be direct with your approach, but don't force it. You're crazy. Get that promotion at all costs. How do you know this girl? It's my daughter. Thank the fucking promotion. Just he's like, um. The book doesn't specify what promotion. Your job will do just fine. Um. He's like. I was beginning to think you weren't coming. Yeah, sorry, I just, I got caught up with some work. What happened to your shirt? Oh, I spilled some ketchup on it. Well, whatever it is your job does, it seems to be treating you well. Yeah, you can, you can say that. You know, money has no meaning to me. I grew up with a rich father and I had everything, but when my mum passed away, everything just kind of lost meaning. All I wanted was my mum, but no amount of money was going to bring her back, so... Just know I'm here because I like you, not because of your money. I've already got my dad for that. The amazing Mr. Murdoch, the man everyone loves. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Uh... Lily, will you be my girlfriend? You haven't even ordered your drink and you're asking me that. What's going on here? Uh... I just, I just need to know, okay? Will, will you or will you not? If I say yes, will you stop being weird? Yes. Okay. Then, yeah, I will be your girlfriend. So, I'll call you tomorrow? Yeah, call whenever. Bye. Actually, Lily, call me at 9.30. I have, I have something planned for us. That's the man I met at the bar. See you tomorrow. <laughs> 